Hello everybody, welcome back to Mario 64 Let's Play in the last episode. We finished up Tiny Huge Island and I could never be happier for that. <laughs> in this episode, we are, I think we're gonna do TikTok Clock. I'm feeling TikTok Clock. Some fun platforming there. But first, we're gonna talk to Toad. Something strange about that clock. When you jump into it, watch the position of the big hand. Oh hey Mario, I found you. Catch. He gives us a free star. Thanks Toad. Alright, well, I think that was our last secret star, besides the 100 coin missions, so... Yeah, thanks, Toad. Roll into the cage. Bye. Welcome to TikTok Clock. Arguably one of the most iconic stages in this game. A lot of people know it for its high-stakes platforming being above a bottomless pit, but I know it as the best track in Mario 64 DS. Mario 64 DS? Huh? I meant to say Mario Kart DS. I fucked that up that bad. My brain is oh, flatlining. Just like my live count. Why is my encoder overloading? OBS is somehow struggling to fucking record a Nintendo 64 game. Seems about right. But a fun thing you can do is if you wait for the hands. See that uh, big hand? Let's say it goes right up to 12. I think that's good. Ah, yes. I unlocked the power of the world and I managed to stop time. Basically, it just takes all the mechanisms and freezes them. So it's easy to platform on. But it's actually bad for a certain... A certain star. I think in speedrunning, it's bad for um, the red coin mission down there. Anyway. It looks like they can just fucking do it without stop time, which is terrifying to think that people are that fucking good at this game. Anyway, here's our star. And he... Oop, there we go. Star gotten. First one of many. I think the 100 coin mission here is going to be the only one that's going to be a big pain in the ass. Only really considering I remember TikTok clock way better than I fucking do, um... Tiny Huge Island. The Pit and the Pendulum. So I believe in this mission you have to stand on the hand and slowly wait for it to go by. Until you get to, you know, your destination of the star. But thankfully... Here, let's go back up to... Go back up to... Yeah, this is the Pendulum you can stand on. Let me just make sure this fire guy didn't hit me. See that star over there? That's the Pit. You're supposed to sit there and wait for the hand to go around and it will slowly deliver you to the star. Or, you can do what I'm going to do. Maybe, if I don't fuck it up too bad. Stand on this cog here. Do a kick, and boom. Star. Easy peasy. As most of these stars are. Oh, and never mind, let's get a hand. Never mind, I'm thinking of a different star. I just gloat about my memory. Immediately forgets the name of that star. Truly, I'm a genius bell before me. Ah, I didn't time that right. Oh well, at least it's regular speed. No, but if you guys haven't played uh, Mario Kart DS, this is the best track in all of that game. Easy clap. It's so much fun. Here we go, perfect. I think, I'm trying to remember what each number does. I think three slows down, six speeds up, 12 stops. I think three is standard. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on screen if I fucked it up and put the actual order. Remind yourself in editing, do that, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, stop being lazy, punk. And here it is. Between the two pendulums. And a crushing block. Got it. And boom, three stars already. Well, four stars if you, ta if you count Toad. Four minutes in, five stars? Hmm. <laughs> 
making good time here. Sorry, that was the worst joke I've made in a while, and I apologize in full. So, I think this is a... Oh, goodbye coin. I think this will be a great time to do the 100 coin mission. Mainly because, um, specifically during this mission, there's a bunch of these coin boxes up top, which we also need to go to. This is actually one of the only missions in the game where I would consider doing... Doing this fucking... Blah, blah, blah. Doing a different mission other than the red coin mission alongside of it. But I'm also gonna grab... I'm also gonna... Come on! Get up there! Oh. 64 collision detection. Give me a second. This is the only mission in... Well, not the only. One of the only missions where I would consider doing the 100 coin mission separate to the red coin mission. I can just regularly come up this shit, alright. I was really overcomplicating that. <laughs> I don't really have much to talk about when it comes to Mario, as of recent. I mean, we haven't really gotten anything about Mario news at all, I don't think. If so, I haven't heard of it. Um, hopefully, though, um, we should have a direct in the next few months. I'm gonna guess around late February is when we're gonna get our next direct. Again, completely speculatory. Could be in March, could be in fuck, could be in April. I do not know. But, oh! But I hope it's soon. Because we've kind of been high and dry for a bit. But then again, that's the world we live in nowadays. Games either get rushed out or need to be delayed because of how bad COVID is as a fucking thing. It's also a massive morale downgrade. Especially in Japan. Japan are not used to working at home. I kind of feel bad for them, having to completely readjust how their fucking corporate structure works to accommodate people working at home. Not a lot of people in Japan can have, like, amazing internet connection to fucking upload multi-gig, non-compressed files for work. It's, it's, it's a shame, but... Hey, hopefully... Hopefully it'll be over this year, but if it's not, then... We'll just have to support each other through it. It's the best that we can do. Anyway, I'm gonna switch to something more... Uplifting. Uh, coins. Money. Let's grab that, shall we? You can get a fuck ton of coins from this blue coin switch. Do not miss a single one, trust me. It is worth getting every coin. Come back up here. You notice that there's another lift up here. I think with some fancy movement. Yup, you can still do it with stop time. Uh, that just rejuvenated some of my fucking good movement fucking ego. As of that backflip. Well, well, that's a star. That's not what I want. But it is noted for the future. Speaking of good movement. Boom, bitch. Triple jump. Easy clap. There we go. Fuck ton of coins. There we go. So I'm not really that talkative in this episode. I'm just concentrating on the 100 coin mission. Because... I do not want to screw this up. Oh, it's one up. It's incredibly useful. When I reset my game, it's not going to matter anyway. This game doesn't save lives. I don't think any of the 3D Mario games do. Even Galaxy 2, which literally fucking, like, you, you fart a little too hard and they give you a one up. And they're like, oh, shit. Here, we got you, homie. 
That's actually another thing I'd like to talk about. Mario games aren't difficult anymore. And I know that may sound incredibly stupid. It's like, yeah, it's a fucking kid series, you idiot. Of course it's gonna be easy. But like, don't, oh, I need two more coins. I wish those things didn't run off the edge. Anyway, that's our main objective, but I don't think I can do that with time stop. So we might have to come back to the star, actually. Huh. Damn. That's a shame. Uh-oh. Okay. No, don't even think about it, you fucking numpty. There we go. All right. Just need... Oh. Two more coins. Who wants to scoff them up? No? How about you? No? I swear, if there's no other coins in this stage, I'm gonna be a little miffed, I'll be real. Oh, I missed another box. Oh, and there's two coins right here. Perfect. And that's a 100 coin mission. Here we go. No, but just comparatively to 64. Comparatively to 64 and Sunshine. Mario games aren't that hard anymore. I mean, some of the extra challenges in Odyssey were pretty difficult, but... That's just the extra stuff. Actually completing Mario 64 is kind of a challenge to most players. You know, unless they've played this game since literally coming out of the womb. <laughs> I actually own this game on N64. I think the N64 was actually my first console that I actually owned for myself. Because the GameCube was technically the family system, but, you know, I grew up on. And I do have a bigger appreciation for what the GameCube did than I do the 64, because, you know, oh, come on. PlayStation 1 games are just so much better, for the most part. Many things are going to actually play fucking RPGs on those. <laughs> Uh, poor N64 lineup for RPGs. You had Magic 64 and that was it. <laughs> Yikes. But, eh. Uh, not a lot of people who swore by Nintendo's britches were exactly big into RPGs. Except for maybe me. <clears throat> but, eh. Uh, it's not like, uh, getting a PlayStation was that expensive. Especially by the time I was born. Still have my original PlayStation 1, too. Oh, the amount of pirated games I had on that thing. I guess it didn't kill the console like the Dreamcast usually did whenever games were pirated off of that. Ugh. Anyway. Let's not talk about piracy. Especially not with a Nintendo game in front of us. I might actually catch a lawsuit. <laughs> and normally I'd be joking, but it's Nintendo, so I... Honestly, wouldn't be that surprised. Because I'm not... Because full transparency, I'm not playing this on the Nintendo console. I think something that requ require Nintendo to actually release a version of Mario 64 with a widescreen. <laughs> See, it's funny because I'm making fun of Nintendo's lack of being in the 21st century. But, hey. Eh. Can't really give them too much crap. Year of COVID and whatnot. No, well, years of COVID. It's been almost three years now. But hey, we'll get through it. Easy dub. Speaking of an easy dub, let's get this last star. Go up these block pendulums. Aw, oh, I thought I'd be able to do a sick backflip there. Jump. These things are all conveniently reloading once I come near. Come over this way. Where right is the pendulums are rotating? Perfecto. Get to these triangles to do the spin. Now we just stall for the hand. Ah, here he comes. Get a hand. 
come on. Oh, even the one up wants to go. Sorry, buddy. This is a one way flight. Now we wait. We're actually coming up on time here, actually. It actually is time right now. We're gonna be here a while. So, how how y'all doing? How's your day? Yeah, are, are you eating your greens? How goes school? I'm gonna stop talking like a grandparent now. Who has no idea what they fucking actually want to talk to with their grandchildren. <laughs> And here we are. So all I gotta do is jump on top of Wompy Boy here. And boom. I was hoping we could get every star done. In TikTok Clock. That's what's called TikTok Clock. But this episode, but hey, we can just leave the Red Corn mission for next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, hold on. Probably actually, like, get my... Press my recording button. Later.